Well, hello YouTube. Uh, I know it's been a while, so I figured I'd just give you guys a quick, uh, quick update on the emergency lights and X signs and stuff. I know you've been getting a couple of requests to <laughs> do this, um, so I figured I'd go ahead and start uh, here in the office, and we'll just I'll give you a tour of the entire entire system, and then we'll do a test of it. Um, so starting off, uh, I've got two rows of these parabolic uh, light fixtures in my office and I've gone ahead in two of them I retrofitted them with emergency ballast that'll run one of these uh, TA tubes for approximately uh, probably two hours or so I haven't tested them fully yet um, but I'm sure they'll last quite a while on the wall there's a Surelight LM1 that I've had since probably 2002. Works pretty good. And coming over here, I've got a Wheelock horn strobe. It's on sh set to chime. A uh, security camera. And out up here, I've got an Emergy Light uh, ceiling mount unit. I did a first take of this video a little while ago that I already tested it, and that's why the red charge light's on. The battery is still good. Continuing on, ignore the cat. Uh, this is the other fixture that's got the ballast in it, uh, emergency ballast. So there's the charging lights for that one. And I've got uh, I got sprinklers in here. I've uh, almost got hooked in. There's one, and there's the other one. The old, definitely the older style, which I like. Uh, let's see, you got a uh, Surelight uh, combo unit that I rescued from going to the dump. As well as a new new out-of-the-box exit sign that uh, was made in 1986 and is set in a box until probably just a week ago. Um, I got two of these and I'll be getting the other one hooked in somewhere at some point. Uh, there's that one. still takes... Uh, I still have the incandescent bulbs in it. Probably you'll convert it over to LED at some point here. Let's see, continuing on out here. Um, this here is, uh, if you can read that, I, that's my handiwork. Uh, I went ahead and asked to put an emergency ballast in this light fixture, which will run one of these bulbs. This is a T12 rapid start light fixture here. Uh, this one, of course, being T8. And then I've got an old uh, Lithonia emergency light mounted over here in the corner. It takes a 12 volt uh, lawnmower battery, which I've got a brand new one in there, so that one probably lasts a while. I have not tested it yet, though. Um, here's another ceiling mount unit. I think this one is by HL. Um, there's two of these, there's one there, and another one down over here, uh, and this one doesn't have a battery in it yet, well yet, I, I say that I actually had to take it out and put it in a different unit, um, so I'll be getting replacement batteries for that. Here's an old, uh, dual-sided Daybright exit sign, looks pretty good, and then over here I've got a uh, emergency, uh, emergency light wall mount unit. So there's the kind of view from the room. Um, and then all these lights in here, of course, uh, rapid start. <laughs> these fixtures here are four bulb T12 uh, parabolic fixtures, very similar to what's in my office, except for they're four bulbs instead of three and a much older unit. Uh, in the laundry room here is a sh another LM1. This one has a bad battery. I gotta get a new battery for it. Just haven't done that yet. In the hallway, there's an old uh, dual light uh, emergency light. Takes a 12 volt battery. In the computer room here, there's another Sure Light emergency light. And 
back here, I got both of these lights at a restore. Um, they both had emergency ballasts in them. This one still kind of works, and this one doesn't work at all. Uh, the batteries are just too old. Uh, this down here is the UPS battery backup and everything. And here is all the fire alarm panels. This one's got good batteries. This one needs new batteries. This one doesn't have batteries in it just yet, and I'm still working on those. Then up here is another uh, dual light uh, emergency light. And so yeah, that's pretty much the general tour of everything. So let's we'll go ahead and we'll go flip the breakers here. Let's see, we'll shut this one. Okay, let me just find out this UPS. Uh, this little one here, um, that just runs the monitors and the USB hubs and everything. I think I mentioned it earlier on in the initial walkthrough, but there's these orange outlets which run back to the UPS unit. Um, they keep everything powered. But, uh, Here's kind of a wide angle shot of the room. Um, so everything in this room is running on batteries right now. See the desk is desk space is nicely lit up as well as over there. I would say definitely think that uh, I definitely like having the old older style incandescent emergency lights combined with the uh, fluorescent emergency lighting. Uh, it gives it a really very very bright in here, um, all things considered. Out here in the main room is this fixture here. Again, running one bulb on battery backup. The old Lithonia. And that HL fixture. And of course, the other one's down there not working yet. Um, and there's the other one over there. Daybright sign unfortunately does not have battery backup. I, when I get a bigger UPS unit, I'll probably put that on UPS power. And there's that emergency light. Moving down the hall here, you can see the panels, uh, panels still on. My external power supplies and everything else in the phone system are all being ran off the UPS circuit. There's uh, that emergency light. One bulb burned out, and the same with this one here. I gotta get new bulbs. And you've got the lights unit there. This here is actually really cool. This is a this is a daybright exit sign. Um, it actually has battery backup capabilities. And what's more amazing is the fact that the, this is the original batteries. <laughs> the original batteries still work on this thing, which is just incredible. This here is the UPS and power dispersion. You can see all the network and everything still up. That light's still on. That UPS is still going. And here's this fixture. One, said one, one emergency ballast works, the other does not. So, uh... Oh, I almost forgot. And we'll go upstairs. I didn't shut the power off up here, but there is also a old Trillites unit here in the hallway that I forgot to show you earlier. Which keeps things nice and lit up. I'll be putting more emergency lighting upstairs and elsewhere in the house as I keep working on it, but this is a pretty good, pretty good start. That there is the sound of EPS about to run out of juice. So yeah, um, and then of course, as you guys familiar with these, uh, and the red charging light will stay on until the. Uh, uh, until the battery is fully charged and then 
it'll turn off. But, uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I know it's been a while. Um, hope you enjoyed.